What is going on guys? This video we're going to be talking about if you are ready to create your first purchase through Alibaba. Last week we talked about how to safely make the payment, but this week we're going to talk about the number one supplier that you need to avoid in order to save you hundreds or thousands of dollars. And you absolutely need to watch this video if you want to save this money and make sure that you work with a legit supplier that will not cause you headaches and a lot of money. So like I said, last week we talked about how to safely pay your supplier to make sure that your bases are covered. No matter what the situation is, you will always be safe with your payment. Now this week we are going to be kind of playing off of last week and we're gonna be talking about what supplier you need to work with and what supplier you do not need to work with. And there are a lot of people working with bad suppliers. I would say probably anywhere from 25% to 50% of Amazon sellers, maybe even more are working with these bad suppliers that you need to know about and you need to be aware of. So another word that we call these bad suppliers is going to be middlemen. You can also call them resellers, you can call them trading companies, but for the most part, they're usually called middlemen. Now, right now, I want you guys to go down below, leave me a comment and let me know your definition of a middleman if you think you know what it is and let's see if you would have gotten screwed or not if you didn't watch this video. So right now, go down below, comment and let me know what you think a middleman is and let's see if you would have gotten screwed by them or not. And if you have no idea, then go ahead and put that too because I want to know how many people knew about this before I taught it. Okay, so now that you guys left a comment down below, we are now going to teach you what a middleman is and how you can prevent working with a middleman and also how you can spot one easily. So first, before we teach you how to prevent this from happening, we need to tell you what they actually do and why there are middlemen. So a middleman is basically what it sounds like. It is someone in between you and your supplier. So almost like they are a sales agent or almost like they are trying to make a commission from getting you to buy from someone else. So they're gonna be the middle man in between your supplier and you. So normally, let's say we are looking for pens and we want to sell pens on Amazon. As always, I always use pens. So let's say we are looking for pens and usually we would directly buy from the supplier or manufacturer making the pens. That is what is normal. That is where we are gonna get the lowest prices and the best bang for our buck so we can make the most profit. So what a middleman will do is they will separate you and the supplier from working directly with each other. So they will charge you more money for the pen than the supplier is actually asking. And they are going to keep all that extra money as their profit. I'm gonna go ahead and try to hopefully find a picture where you guys can better visualize this process uh, and I'll put it right here. So what they are doing is they are basically charging you more money for the exact same product that you could have gotten for less if you purchased directly through the supplier. So they are making all the profit in between. So if normally the pen sells for $1 from the normal supplier who actually makes the pen, they could be selling it to you for $2 and keeping that extra dollar for themselves because they connected you to the supplier even though you didn't know about it most likely. And that is why it is so effective for these business models of middlemen because most people who buy their first products on Amazon or try to sell it anywhere else don't know what to look for and they get screwed over by these middlemen all the time and they get charged more than what they should simply because nobody taught them any better. So now that you know that it is way better to buy directly from the supplier or manufacturer, uh, you need to look out for these middlemen because they are all over the place and you do not want to fall victim to one of these companies. Now, if you guys want the simple solution to fixing this and making sure that this does not happen, there is something that you can do called a supplier audit. Basically, think of a background check. So you are gonna have someone do a background check on the supplier to tell you everything about them, their business history, how long they've been in business. They're gonna check their manufacturing plant or warehouse, and they're gonna do all these different things to make sure that they are a legit supplier, a legit business, and someone that you could trust. And I supply my personal business connection that does all of my audits on all the suppliers I work with to all of my private students, and they also get this service discounted because they are my private student. So if you guys want to get into that or you want to learn more about it, then please email me here. You must email me here to get in because it is private. It is a private course taught by myself and it takes you through everything when it comes to selling on Amazon from start to finish. And I only work with a few people at a time because I really want them to succeed as fast as possible and I could focus on them better. So if you guys are interested in investing, so if you guys are interested in investing in yourself, your business, or your future, 
then feel free to email me here and we will see if we could be a good match together and I will give you some more info about how it works. And this also includes my personal one-on-one -on -one mentorship. So this gives you unlimited access to asking me questions as much as you want for as long as you want. And this also comes with a lot of other different stuff such as a private Facebook group with all the other students so you guys can network and get your initial reviews along with, like I said, my personal business connections with discounts to save you a lot of money and also my personal business templates for negotiation and inquiries to get product from your Chinese suppliers easier. So if that is something that you want to invest into or something that you feel like you need to be a part of, then feel free to email me there and I will give you more information. Now, let's say that you do not have someone to do a supplier audit for you because you do not have this business connection. There are a few other tactics and ways I'm about to teach you right now. It's just gonna take more time and effort, obviously, because you have to do it yourself. So the first thing that you guys can do is you need to get as much information about this company as you can. You need to ask them if they are a trading company or a manufacturer, and that is going to tell you whether they are a middleman trading company or they are a manufacturer, a real supplier that you want to work with. So that's the first telltale sign. If they say they are a trading company, then do not work with them because they're gonna charge you more money and they're going to be sourcing from someone else and they're not actually making the product. You can also ask them for their business name, how many years they've been in business, their business address, all these different things will help you narrow down to make sure that they are a legit manufacturer or supplier. And all this information will really help you to narrow down to make sure that they are a legit manufacturer or supplier. Another thing that you can do to really determine whether they are a middleman or a legit manufacturer is ask what kind of products they offer and sell and what kind of categories of products they offer and sell. And if they tell you that they offer multiple different products that look totally different, totally different things. So let's say they email you back and they say they sell pens, they sell iPhone cases, they sell iPhone chargers, they sell mops, they sell uh, cameras, lights, uh, watches. They tell you they sell all these things. That is unrealistic because a normal manufacturer that actually makes products usually only makes one type of product because if they did a ton of different things, it would fail as a business. So if they tell you that they do all these different things, then you can tell that they are a middleman and they are not actually making these products themselves and they are just simply getting these products from other real suppliers and charging you more money for it. So if they tell you that they only sell one type of product or one category of product, then that is a good sign and just make sure you put all the other information in with that to make sure that you are extremely safe. Another thing that you can do is you can actually outsource to another company that you trust and they are going to be a sourcing agent. So they are gonna have your best interests in mind because they are working for you and they're going to try to find the best manufacturer or supplier for this specific type of product that you're looking for. So say we are looking for uh, pens, as always, we have a specific type of pen that we need and we want and we want a high quality pen for a low, low cost. They are going to have that interest in mind and they're going to find the best possible suppliers and connections for you in China because they are usually located in China as well. So that is also something, and usually these companies also do the supplier audits, so they can do the supplier audit for you and do the background check, or they can actually go out and find a good supplier for the product that you want right off the bat. And these things are usually pretty cheap, usually under $100 to have a product sourced and to have a supplier audit, it's usually below $50. And this is also something that I offer to my private students because I have a business connection, so you get really good prices cheaper than anyone else and they will do all the work for you and have your best interest in mind because they are located in China and they are actually going to do all the work for you and have your best interest in mind and you get to be the CEO and they just lay out all the options in front of you and you get a pick. And this is why it is so nice to just sit back and have another company do all the work for you. It really makes life a lot easier, especially them being in China because they can have all these different strings and ties to connections in China that will really help you get the competitive advantage to take you to the next level that a lot of other sellers do not have. So one more thing before I end the video, I wanna give you one really good pro tip that will help you to scare your possible supplier or manufacturer or middleman, hopefully not, to scare them into making sure that they are not a middleman. So what you can do is you can ask them and tell them, hey, I have a sourcing agent in China that is near your location. 
can they stop by and check out the warehouse or manufacturing plant? Is that okay with you? And usually their response if they are a middleman is they will give you an excuse like, oh, sorry, we don't allow people to come look at the manufacturing plant. Or they might even own up to it and say, sorry, we don't actually make the product ourselves. We work with another company. Now, if they say that, then obviously don't work with them. And if they say, yeah, sure, you can have them come by at this time or you can have them come by at any time, then that is a good sign that they are a legit manufacturer because they have nothing to hide. And once again, if you actually have a sourcing agent like my students, then they actually have someone go and look at the warehouse. And that is a big 100% guarantee that you are going to be safe working with them. But if you are not one of my private students and you don't have that kind of connection, then you can just act like you do and that might help you a little bit more. It's better than nothing. You can also use the same tactic and say, hey, can I video call you and see the manufacturing plant and talk a little bit about my order? And if they actually do video call you and they are in a office building, then that might be a sign that they are a middleman because usually middleman companies will be in office buildings. They won't actually be in the warehouse or the manufacturing plant. So if they do video chat you and they are in the manufacturing plant or warehouse, then that is a good sign that they are a a real manufacturer or supplier and it is good to work with them. So I totally understand if that was a lot to take in. I know it was a lot of information and I tried my best to explain it. Hopefully I did a good job and hopefully you guys were right down in the comments and uh, maybe you guessed right, maybe you guessed wrong. Either way, you probably now know what they are and how to stay away from them. So before you guys go, go down below, click on the like button if you learned anything new. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell to get notified every time I upload a new video. And last but not least, go down below, leave me a comment, let me know if you guys subscribed. Also, let me know if you have any questions because I respond to every single comment. So I know this one was confusing. Feel free to ask me questions below and I will respond to every single one and I will see you guys in the next video or I will see you guys if you guys email me to become a student.